These four guys, all they knew was pulling nets over the side of the boat and dragging in. That's all they ever knew. Their lives changed when Jesus came to them. He said, follow me. We go outside our comfort zone and take the gospel to the world. To be honest with you, folks, I don't always know where the fish are. I don't always know where the lost are. You know me? But Jesus does. Jesus knows where the lost are. Jesus knows what we need to do to reach the world in His name. Jesus knows what we need to do to reach out to those around us. If we listen to His voice, if we have our nets ready and our nets mended, He'll guide our steps to those places where the fish are lying. Send us to the right place to follow him. And we fish where he tells us to fish. And we do what he tells us to do. Of course, where he tells us to fish might be somewhere we don't want to go. Might be in a way we don't want to go. It's at that moment we face the decision. We follow Jesus. Fish where and how he says, only we do it our way. We come back in. That's a hard question, folks. Are we going to fish where and when and how Jesus tells us to fish? Or are we going to do it our way? Jesus will provide success. His way has already shown to reach the world. Our way may or may not be successful. Sometimes we need to change our hearts and our lives when we come up with You may feel like you may feel today like you will never feel with us. You may feel like today like I can never do what these guys did. Church. Who 
weren't wearing our Sunday clothes. God used us to reach these kids, to reach their parents, to show this community, the people who drove by all day long. God is alive and well and we're reaching out our community. So the first question is, have you left everything to follow Jesus? Maybe God's calling you to step up and step out and say, Lord, you're using me. Here I am. I want to be used. I don't know what I have, Lord, but you got it. Maybe He's calling you to be a part of our family. To come home and make this your church home. Maybe He's calling you to recommit your life to Christ. Say, yes, you can. Here am I. Use me. Send me. What's God calling you to do? Let's pray. Father, oh, heaven is we bow our heads at this time. Thank you for leading us today, Father. Thank you for letting us become fishers of men to touch the lives of those that are around us. To touch the lives of those, Father, that need your help and your love and your grace. Thank you, Father, for calling us oh so softly and oh so gently that we may serve you and be part of your kingdom. Lord, you know what we can do. You know that we have prepared our hearts and our nets and we're in the waters of the deep and wide. The fish are abundant. Just need to start casting our nets. Thank you, Father, for taking us out to the deep waters. And giving us the faith and the strength to throw our nets out. You didn't ask us to be successful. You just ask us to be good. Hear my word. If you're thinking him will turn with me to our hymn of invitation and benediction today, hymn number 312, softly and tenderly. Jesus, when you come this morning and share with me what God has given you, that you're willing to stand up and step out to Jesus Christ in our kingdom. Will you stand with me and sing hymn number 312 for our invitation hymn?
my Lord, ready to receive you, glad to meet you, and encourage you to be a part of our family. May us be close to Father in heaven, as we go our different ways, bless us, Father. Bring us back together. Use us today according to your will. Let us, Father, step out into this world. Cast our nets out in your name and bring in your harvest and bring in your people. Father, thank you for using us and guiding us. And help us remember, Father, the time of vacation Bible school that we meet together right up here in front and let the world know that we are your people, we are your children, and we are your servants in all things. For it's in Jesus' name we pray.